everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today I'm doing two more looks with my beloved Bloodlust palette. I did a review on this palette a while ago now and I really wanted to pick it up and play with it a little bit more. I'm going to be dipping into some of the iconic purples in here and I'm also going to be creating this look right here which we actually use the red in this palette today which I've been dying to play with for ages so I'm excited to show you guys these looks today. I know he's revealing a brand new palette today which I'm so excited for. It's the cremated collection that's coming up. I'm so excited to see the reveal but anyway I thought I'd pick this up and play with it. I do want to play with my conspiracy palette a little bit more as well. But yeah, first of all, we're going to jump into the more purpley look and then I'm going to show you how I did this one right here. If you're new and just stopping by, I hope you decide to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go right on into the first look. All right, so this is the first look we're doing today. It's a little bit more dramatic. I haven't done a look like this in a while, so I'm excited to do it today. So let's get started. I'm just priming my eye with the P. Louise base in a blank canvas from the Acid Rain collection and I'm just doing this with my fingers because it really warms up the product and spreads it out nicely. So now we are all primed. I'm gonna go in with the very first colour which is Blood Queen and I'm going to pack this on the outer third of my eye and I'm almost creating a C shape on the outer corner following the natural shape of my eye and I'm taking it just above my crease. Now I've used pretty much everything that's on my brush, I'm just using the excess to bring it through the crease slightly, just over halfway across the lid. Now I'm going in with the shade Vivid Mood and I'm going right over the edges and blended up on an angle towards my brow. And I'm focusing this on the outer part of the eye, I'm not bringing this throughout the crease. I'm just going back in with my original brush and doing little flicking motions to encourage more blending with the shadows. Because I really want this to be blown out, I'm just adding a little bit more base around the temple area. And now I'm taking the shade Royal Pain on a big fluffy brush and I'm just blending over the edges and out towards the temple. I am also bringing that colour throughout the crease as well. Just very lightly though because we are using a big fluffy brush. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the shade Dungeon on the outer corner and deepen up that purple. Just taking the first brush we used and just buffing over the edges to make sure it all blends seamlessly. Because there's barely any product left on this brush now, I'm going to take the excess of Blood Queen and pull it right down to the inner corner throughout the crease. And then I'm taking the brush that we use for Vivid Mood, which again barely has any product on it and I'm just buffing over the edges. And then going back in with our big fluffy brush that we used for the shade Royal Pain. Again, this barely has any product on it. Now I'm just going to cut the crease with the same base. I'm doing this with my eyes open to make sure I can see where it falls when my eyes are open. And then I'm just taking my finger and patting over the edge and also patting over the base itself to warm it up a little and smooth it over. Now I'm going in with a shade called Take the Crown and I'm just going to go right over the base. This is one of the prettiest shades I think I've ever seen in my life. It is so beautiful. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Q-tip, some Vaseline, and I want to cut out the line shape that I want to do. And I want to make this quite thick so we can really see the sparkle that this shade gives. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to cut the liner just where the darkness starts on the outer third of the eye. You don't have to do this, by the way. You can use whatever technique you want to use to remove this part of the shadow. I just do this because it's really gentle on the eye and it's thick so it doesn't actually move around and affect any of the other makeup. Now I'm just going back in with the P. Louise base and I'm just going over that area that we just cut out. Once again, just patting over it with my finger to really warm up the product. Now I'm going in with the shade called Executioner and I'm taking this 
this on a really dense little brush to make sure I pick up as much sparkle as I can and just go in over the base. I would suggest doing more of a pat in motion than swipe in motion because that's going to ensure that you reveal more of the glitter and it's going to really pack on the shade as well. When I get to the outer corner and I stop by the darker area on my eye, I'm going back in with the shade Dungeon and just lightly tap in over the edge to blend everything together. I completely forgot to do this earlier, <laughs> so I'm quickly going to do it now. I'm going to take the shade Vivid Mood and I'm going to just go over the shimmer and the matte area to merge it together. And then going over the deepest part with the shade Blood Queen. Now I'm just going to take a black eyeliner, this is Smolder by MAC and I'm just going to tight line. And then I'm going to add some mascara, this is the Max Factor Master Precise High Volume and Definition Mascara. I'm going to go ahead, clean up all this fallout, put on a base, put on some brows and then we'll be right back to finish up the lower lash line. Alright so I've got my lashes on, these are Unicorn Cosmetics Enchantra lashes, I love them, they're so pretty. I have a code with Unicorn Cosmetics, I believe it gets you like 10 10 or 15 percent off it's just klara 15 and you just put that in and you get to save a little bit of money <laughs> it is an affiliate code though so if you don't feel comfortable with that please don't use it it's just there if you want to save a little bit of money but let's finish up these eyes so i'm going in with the shade high king first of all and i'm taking that three quarters of the way along the lash line now i'm going in with the shade called scandal water and i'm just blending the high king shade out i'm not gonna lie when i initially did this i really didn't like it so i went in with the shade vivid Vivid mood and just went in between the two. Then I went back in with our fluffy brush and the shade Royal Pain and I've just blended it all together and included it on the lower lash line and pull it towards the temple. Then to blend it even further, I've gone in with my bronzer. I'm just using the Fenty Beauty one, which is in the shade In the Sun, and I've just taken it on my bronzer brush and I've just put it at the temple here and blended my shadow into it. And that just helps you get that pulled back effect and it just blends it all together seamlessly. Now I'm gonna go into the waterline. I didn't wanna go with a nude, I didn't wanna go with a black, but I still wanted to keep the depth and keep it kind of smoky. So I've gone in with the NYX, this better not be the name. <laughs> NYX, what are you doing? This is the name of this eyeliner pencil. Slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. Wh what? <laughs> <laughs> and then it says, this eyeliner is so good, the name had to be this long. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is in the shade Jewel, and it's just this purpley, browny kind of colour, and it is a shimmery pencil. So I'm just going to put that throughout the waterline. It's kind of like a shimmery plum colour, but I think it just goes really well with this look. And then I'm just going to add some lower lash line mascara. Now finally for the inner corner, I didn't really want to go in with the shimmer because I kind of wanted the shimmer on the eyes to pop. So I've used Your Majesty and just put it in the inner corner and the inner third of the eye and then just blended it to make sure it's not too stark. Alright, so this is the finished look for the first eye look. It's a really kind of smoky glam, which I really like and I haven't not done in a while. <laughs> I just really wanted to use that executioner shade because it's so beautiful. It picks up the light so nicely. I don't know if it's coming across on camera but it's so beautiful. I might try getting a few clips of the flash on so you guys can see the glimmer but it's so pretty. So I hope you guys like this one but now I'm gonna move on to the second one. Okay so here is the second look. I really wanted to make it soft and use the red that was in here because I've been wanting to use this red for a while and I haven't thought about a look that I could use it with but now I have and I really like it. I feel like it's very romantic. <laughs> I mean it's because it's pink and red but anyway let's get on to it. For this one I'm just gonna use my concealer as a base just to switch it up you know and I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge really quickly. This one is pretty simple to be honest. I'm gonna go in with Royal Pain with a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna tap it on the outer corner and then use circular motions to blend it out and make it really really seamless. I really want this to just be like an effortless look really. I'm winging it out slightly and directing it towards the temple and I'm just building it up. As you can see this is making its way throughout the crease but I don't want to bring it in the inner corner. I want to keep that completely clear. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna take the shade Bleeding Heart. I'm gonna focus it on the outer corner also, just going over top of the Royal Pain color. And then I'm gonna bring it on an angle just over halfway across the lid. Once I place the color down, I'm taking the excesses on the brush and I'm just blending it slightly throughout the crease. This is just to help with our blending later on. Now I'm taking Royal Pain on a smaller brush and I'm just gonna go right over the edge of the Bleeding Heart color. As I was doing this look over here, I could not believe how easy this red blends. It's crazy blendy. It's so effortless. It's so easy to work with. And then I just go back in with my big fluffy brush and just blend over the edges once more. And I'm just going in with the brush that we used for the red and I'm just taking the clean sides. I'm just going to tap over the harsh line that I've created there just to soften it ever so slightly. Now I'm going in with the Your Majesty shade and I'm going to set the inner corner concealer and also make a bit of a gradient with the red. Just tap out the creases first of all. And I'm taking this almost all the way up to the brow. Add a little bit of sparkle I've gone in with wet jewel and I'm just taking it right across that line that we've got with the red and it just creates a nice gradient with a little bit of sparkle <laughs> I'm going 50% on the red and 50% on the white Just to finish this look off, I've taken the shade Dungeon and I've just made a little bit of a smoky line right at the lash line just to add a little bit of depth so when we add the lashes it's not going to look too stark. I've lifted it slightly at the outer corner creating a slight wing but it doesn't go past the end of my eye. This is just going to lift the outer corner. I've stopped the liner about halfway across the lid. I haven't taken it all the way into the inner corner. I'm going to now tight line and do the same, keep it to the outer corner because I want to really keep the inner corner nice and bright. I'm now going to put on some lashes. I'm going to use Imani by Prima Lashes. They're really pretty. I used them the other day in another video which is going to be going up after this. <laughs> But yeah, they're really soft and fluttery and more subdued. They're a bit more tame, but they still give like a flirty effect. So I'm gonna go put these on, then I'm gonna do my base, choose a lip, do my brows and everything, and then I'll come back and finish up the lower lash line with you guys. All right, so I've done my base, got some lashes on. Now I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line. So I'm taking another NYX liner. It's the same liner as my previous look, but it's in the shade Golden Bronze, and it's really, really pretty golden bronze color. <laughs> But with this look, I find it pulls a little bit more pink, so it really goes with this eye look really nicely. But it's not straight up pink, so you won't look like you've got an eye infection. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly apply this. I would really love to just put this all over the lid. It's such a pretty shade. I am keeping this very simple on the lower lash line, so I'm just going in with Royal Pain, and I'm just going to fluff it all the way across the lash line and kind of smudge it into the liner a little bit as well. Then I'm just taking my fluffy brush, which is pretty much no product on it, and I'm just going to fluff out the lower lash line and just blend it all together. I want to keep it really soft and sultry, you know. <laughs> For the inner third of the eye, I'm just taking wet jewel once again and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corner. And that is literally all I've done for the lower lash line. Now I'm just gonna add some mascara. Okay, so that is it for this look. Um, it's so pretty, really girly, really flirty and soft, but we used red. <laughs> yeah, I really like this look. I was questioning it when I first did it on this eye, but now it's together as a whole look. I really like it. Also put on a lip that I have not worn in literally uh, well, a while. <laughs> this is Jeffree Star Rose Matter with Ryland over the top, these two together, and I think it's made such a pretty pinky nude colour, and I love it with the eyes. I'm feeling very girly right now. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is the end of the video. I really love this palette so much. There's quite a bit of diversity in here. You've got blue purples, red purples, and the shimmers in here are insane. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any shades in particular that you want me to do a look around, then please let me know. And if you did like the video, please leave a thumbs up so I know. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. <laughs> if you're new, feel free to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button. Join this little community that we've started here. You're more than welcome to join. But yeah, that is it. I'm going to stop talking your ear off. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. This one is pretty simple. Oh my god, why am I orange? <laughs> Please somebody tell me why I'm orange. I am bright ass orange. Why am I going orange? What's going on?